Hey everyone, welcome back to New Watch here and episode 6 of our Let's Play series, if I remember correctly. Um, so, in the last episode, right at the very end, we put in our new cow shed, um, which did cause a few issues as we got it a little bit too close to the road, but I've sort of tidied it up as best as I can do. Um, it's not perfect, and uh, but it, it's not too bad. I said I really could have done with just coming that little bit further away from that road just to make it a bit easier. And as with the painting the terrain textures, which seems very odd on this map, I'm also doing the actual landscaping. I'm trying to raise and lower with uh, the circle tool doesn't seem to work as a circle tool. It just seems to work as a square and it seems to take off a hell of a lot more or affect a lot more of the area of the land than the size of the brush you've actually got selected so uh, it's a little bit odd on this map for some strange reason so this uh, bit of field will fix that when we've done the harvest and um, so I'll have to replay this section in so until we do that we'll just leave that as it is now uh, we do need to get some fertilizer on our wheat in that one a field 24 and field 5 we need to get planted uh, we've got, currently got no crops in those. Um, so I did. I finished off the texturing. Uh, got a little bit of straw texture showing through there from. I presume that's just actually from the map. I missed that bit of grass there. I need to tidy up. Don't think that door opens. No. Nope. Uh, so I just put a bit of mud texture in here. Hopefully the straw will cover that when we get some bedding in. So we've got the water trough and the feed trough there. And then I'll just put some grass out here and a little bit of mud coming out. I say it's very difficult to blend any textures on this map for some reason. So I think what we'll do to start with um, is we'll head up to the animal dealer as I've got our truck ready and we'll get we can fit six cows in this trailer so for now I may just get 12 so do two trips and top up their feed uh, the straw the bedding and stuff like that and then what we'll do is because I still want to buy that other new field um, so which we'll look at purchasing when we get back from dropping the cow or well, getting the cows and getting them in the uh, the actual cow shed uh, so I do want to buy that and then we'll see how much money we've got left and possibly get some more cows or, or leave that and get them over time because I'm not sure if there's anything else equipment wise um, we will need to buy. I'm just going to feed the cows hay for now because um, the the plan is to get as many cows as we can which the cow shed holds up to 200 so we're going to need the biggest feed mix wagon we can get which is currently the Anderson uh, one which is 29,000 litres and something it's a bit of an odd uh, size so we'll get that but I believe that's around about 100 and something thousand so going to be a while before we can afford that so we'll just feed them hay for now so we've got the straw blower we've got the water tanker we've got all the mowers for cutting uh, tedding baling hay and stuff so we don't need to worry about any of that stuff so I do really want to get that extra field because I think we could do with one more on this slow traffic Ah, he's going the same way we go. No, nope, he's not. A bit of confusing. In indicate right, then immediately indicate left. Obviously changed his mind. Oh, it's the impatient driver in the truck behind him. Right, so is Patterson Stockyards? Now we need to pull up just here. Right, so we want cows, and we've got. Uh, I might just go with all black because I don't think that's a colour I've actually done yet. So I'll confirm those. So we'll do. We'll get these back to the yard and get them in the pen, and I'll come back and get a second load. So that'll give us twelve cows to get us started. 
Uh, so that will be another fifteen thousand dollars to buy those. So that will leave us with about one hundred and fifty thousand, which should be enough to get the well. It'll be enough to get the field I want to buy, uh, but it won't leave us with enough to buy a, a second field. So we'll just have to make do with the one for now. Okay, so just coming back up to the farm with the second load of cows. So we'll do. We'll get these in, then we'll get the water topped up, get, give them some bedding and a, a bale of hay. should keep them going for a while and so then we'll have a look at buying that new field and then get to work on some of our fields try and get what we need to get done that should do so we want transfer those over so confirm so that's our first 12 cows. I say what I want to do is gradually build them up um, over time. Try and get up to a decent amount where the reproduction rate isn't too bad and then when they get to full capacity we can start selling off a few cows just to give us that little bit of extra money and free up a bit of space so they can reproduce. So I think from memory um, when I did some testing I'm pretty sure once you get close to 200 you can get two cows a day, 12 hours I think the reproduction rate, or I can't remember exactly. Well, I'm sure it was like every so many days you could sell off 10 cows, which is 2,000 each, so it's an extra 20,000 every so many days. Um, so what we need is a tractor. So we'll go and grab a tractor from a... Uh, up the other yard so we can do the water and bedding. That's the only issue having this yard up here. Is it? Um, I'll just take the maxim. Everything's that a little bit further away and not having the the case, uh, well, the little international tractor we had before that we did have up with the pig farm, but really don't think we need a a third tractor, a uh, fourth tractor at the moment. So what I may do is just leave this one down this end just for using to do the water uh, bedding, topping up the feed and stuff. So we'll do the water first. So I think the water trailer should be full. Partly full. See, it didn't refill it after doing the horses. There we go. Didn't think it was going to work then. That's it, stop for. So they will do the, the straw and then just a hay bale, and that's. The cows should be all done. And they can start producing some milk. Uh, manure and slurry and then at some point we'll look at buying a slurry spreader and obviously a manure spreader as well right so the maximum I haven't even topped up the water yet uh, okay hmm There we go. That's the water trigger all the way up here. Oh, that's the water trough. <laughs> I got got the troughs the wrong way around. I'm sure, that one looks like the feed trough. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I've got some water anyway. Um, yeah, so that's going up. So not quite full. So we'll fill the trailer back up, and then we'll probably top up the cows. Uh, finish topping that up and top up the horses as well if they need some. It does look like we are going to need to cut the grass for hay bales next time it's ready as we've only got these three left. And 
we've got that one grass bale there, which uh, we could have actually given the grass. Uh, no, yeah, I forget the, the they've changed the cows and the way they you feed them now. If grass only gives ten percent. So how much has that filled up their feed? Oh, <laughs> not a lot at all. Uh, yeah, we, we're going to need some hay pretty soon. Just 12 cow cows didn't really uh, fill up the feed trough a lot with just one bale. So the horses should be fine for now, so we'll give the cows these other two bales. And I think we'll probably gonna have to leave getting any more cows until we've got some more hay bales otherwise we're gonna run out of stuff to feed them now I'm not keen on the way they've changed the uh, the feed for the cows I much preferred it in 17 I'm not sure why they changed it uh, weather seasons when that comes out whether that will uh, change how you do their feed uh, I'm presuming it will similar to 17 seasons it will change the amount of days you can fill up the feed trough for so they'll possibly go down to the uh, three days again So we'll give them this one, and then we've just got the straw and let's finish topping up the water. Just get this part back up. Uh, we still need to look at getting uh, some of the auto load egg pallets because uh, they're going to be really useful because we're going to start getting quite a few eggs soon. So, this should fill up the water trough. So 24,000 litres of hay, which is around about 50%. Um, that is going to last them five days with 12 cows. Uh, really could have done that shed being a little bit further back. So I'll just top the horses' water up if they need any. I need a tiny little bit. And it's just the straw to do, and then that's our cows all sorted. Just drop that off there. And then get the straw blower. I think we may need to put another couple of bales in. we can actually reach with this but we'll try yeah possibly gonna struggle yeah Yep, we're not gonna get. Oh no, it's in. I'll do. Not not the uh, the prettiest way of doing it, but it's in there. I'll have to consider whether it's worth actually keeping the skid steer, because other than. Uh, moving the egg pallets, we don't really have much use for it now. It was handy when we had the when we had the cow, uh, the sheep as well on Ravenport because we had a lot of uh, wall pallets to move and the egg pallets. 
suppose. Possibly okay for just putting in the odd um, hay bale into the horses and stuff, but yeah, we'll see. Where we, if we don't use it very often, we'll probably sell it. Uh, it'll be pointless having it if we're not going to be using it. So let's see, second bale, and that should be enough to fill that up. So that will be the cows all sorted. So what we'll do next is we'll get the the uh, the planter and we'll head over to field five and we'll get that planted up. And then we'll try and get field five, um, field eight done as well. Um, but we'll do that with the, no not field eight, field 24. And we'll probably do some soybeans in that one. Because uh, we can use the direct drill. So that's taken quite a bit. So it's 11,200 litres of straw, and they've pretty much taken both bales exactly. So that was a perfect amount of straw we had it. So let's just drop that off. Um, yeah, so what we'll do, we'll go and get the, the planter set up on. I have to use the Magnum because the New Holland doesn't have the front three-point linkage. And then we'll head over to field five and get that one sorted. All right, so we've got the planter all set up and ready to go. So I think we're going to... I think we'll do some sunflowers. I've got sunflowers in field one, which is the one I want to buy. Um... So we'll have two fields of sunflowers, which is that field just up there. I say this is a quite an odd shaped field, so I'm not quite sure the best direction to go. Um, so what I'll do, I'll probably do a couple of passes around the edges first, and if we do leave a worker going, they're not going to have too many issues. So we'll do, we'll, at the moment, because we don't have any storage silos, so all the crops will just sell straight off the field. And one other thing I was thinking about is, um, possibly next to the, the cow shed, we need to tidy up the grass field anyway. I did mention about uh, replanting some grass in that one area where we did the landscaping. Um, possibly having a look at getting a bunker silo in there um, so we can do some lo loose silage uh, for the when we come to do the total mix ration because uh, the using the 8000 litre bales is makes things a little bit difficult when you come to do the mixes so having the loose silage might make things a little bit easier so could I get have a look again a bunker silo um, built next to the cow shed uh, see if which one of the ones we've got in game will fit in there. I don't need anything too big. And what we'll probably do is just do some grass silage. Uh, at least a loading wagon you know, to collect that up and get it in the clamp when we need it. So what I'll do, we'll get this one finished and then we'll head over to field 24 and get the seed drill going on that one.
Okay, so we've just got this last little bit here and a little bit more down that end. And then that's this field all done. We'll just have to come over here with the sprayer when the crop starts growing to get our second round of fertilisation on it. So I was having to think while I was doing that about the uh, the cows and the, the grass, I think we may need to look at buying a second grass field because I don't think we're going to get a huge amount of grass off the one we have got. So there is this one that's just behind that tree and shed there which is opposite the farm um, which you could possibly look at it trying to buy at some point where I believe it's around a hundred and odd thousand so uh, it's definitely something to think about. I'm not sure how much this little grass field is down here, uh, which is another possibility. I'm sure there's plenty of other grass fields around. But, well, definitely I think we need to, because I think last time we cut that grass field, although it wasn't fully fully grown, I don't think, on some parts of it. Um, we got about 10 silage bales, which is around about 80,000 litres of silage, which um, isn't a huge amount, uh, especially if we want to go up to like 200 cows or close to. Uh, we're definitely going to need a lot more than that. So, getting a second grass field is definitely something we're going to need to consider. So, that's the sunflowers are all done, minus the fertilization. Um, if we do buy a field one, which I'll probably just buy now. Um, when we get back up to the top before I forget that one doesn't currently have any fertilizer on it so we could get that one sprayed as well while we're doing the others so what I'll probably do is get a worker off on 24 um, try and see if I can get the worker going with the New Holland um, on the seed drill and then we'll go and get the spraying done So we just drop off the seed hopper. Now we get the planter unit dropped off. Right, let's see if I can get this worker working on this. If not, I'll have to just get it done um, off camera myself. Uh, which I don't really want to have to do but it's not going to take a huge amount of time, it's not a huge field. So we did say we are going to do some soybeans. So what I'll do first is do one pass up across this end of the field and then see if we can set a worker off. I say if it doesn't work then I may have to think about uh, replacing this tractor with a different one. I will probably first try disabling the AI vehicle extension mod just to see if it is that that's causing the problem. So if we set now. Again it's just saying it's completed the task which is rather annoying. So we just bring up the, the menu. So we have got it as normal worker. And Phil, let me... That's just, so let me hire a worker with the AI vehicle extension. Um, although I'm not sure how well it actually works with seed drills. I could never get it to work properly with uh, implements on 17. It's always played up, so how well this is actually going to work using it. 
Let's see what it does at the end of this field. And if it does work, I may just leave it going and see how well it does. But he's going to start reversing back. Yep. Okay, I'm, so far I'm quite impressed. <laughs> I'm not sure why it won't work on the standard uh, worker though. Okay, so... That seems to be working to some degree, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that uh, going and see how well that does. Because if that does actually work uh, with the seed drill, and it does a reasonably good job, and what I probably will do is after it's done a couple of passes around the edge of the field I'll switch the circle mode to up and down and see how well that goes. So it'll be quite handy to know if it does actually work. I say in 17 I only ever used that mod for um, doing the combining because uh, I could never get it to work with any of the seed rules or anything. So we need the sprayer unit and what I'll do I'll get the the maximum because we put the narrow ties on that and uh, we've got the get the spray unit on and um, what we'll do first is we'll go and buy field one so it's 117,168 which uh, when I had to look around at the price of that to the size of it it's not actually a bad price uh, for the size of the field compared to some of the others so we'll buy that so that leaves us with 30,733 um, now. That's the uh, the workers taking some of our money. Um, so we'll keep that for, obviously we need to buy seed, fertiliser, uh, pay the workers wages and stuff like that. So we'll leave that as it is. So what we'll do, I'll get the, the spray set up and then we'll go and get our fields fertilised. Okay, so I've got the sprayer all on. I uh, seem to be having a few issues refilling this from the placeable refill uh, liquid fertilizer tank at the yard. So we may need to look at replacing that one as well or seeing if it's the wrong way around or something and we can't get to the trigger. So we'll do, we'll start off with field eight. And we'll try and see if we can get the grass done. Now, I'm not sure if we'll be able to fertilize that now because it started growing back. And then we'll go over and do field one. So that'll be this field fully fertilized. Uh, the grass will be fully fertilized if we can do that. And field one will have one stage of fertilizer. I don't think we'll get a second stage on. Um, I'm not sure what the actual growth stage is. So we may only get 50% fertilizer on that field um, but the fact that we've only just bought it with a growing crop in isn't too bad could have possibly looked to see if we, there was a contract for fertilizing it before we bought it and may have got a layer of fertilizer on and also earned a bit of extra money but never mind to try and remember that for next time we buy a field see what contracts are available actually on it first as one thing I was doing 17 was before you buy a field you just do all the missions uh, doing the cultivating seeding fertilizing and then when the crop was ready to harvest you knew it was fully fertilized and then you could buy it okay, so we're just coming up to finishing off field 8 and as you can see the, the growth stage updated during that so the sunflowers in field uh, one now are on the final growth stage so we are definitely only going to be able to get one layer of fertiliser on that uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. It does require ploughing as well but not lime so so yeah we're not going to get the as good as yield as we could have done had we been that a little bit quicker we could have got the two stages of fertilizer on and I'm not sure if we'll be able to do the grass because if that's uh, fully grown now as well 
and we'll see first. It doesn't look like it's fully grown actually. So we'll see if it if it goes darker. Obviously we can. Uh, at least next time we come to cut this for the hay bales, we'll get more off it. As we do need to get some hay bales in stock. So yeah, that's fertilising. So we can get this one done, and then what we'll probably have to do is get. Uh, head to the store and get a fertiliser pallet uh, to top up. There seem to be missing an odd patch there. Uh, there's one thing I really like um, <laughs> dislike about this setup is when you the one tank runs out it just stops the spray and it doesn't switch over to the one straight away. So to tidy up this corner as well, we seem to have a bit of random patch missing. Uh, the worker's still going on field 24. I've now switched it to going up and down because it's done two passes around the edges and it's done a really good job actually. So I am actually really surprised how well that's working with the AI vehicle extension. Uh, if that does work that well, with a lot of the cedars and planters uh, that's a hell of a lot easier than setting up a course on course plate you can literally just press B or H on the keyboard I think it is to hire a worker and just let them carry on uh, it's good as well because if you get to a point where they stop for seed or you quit out the game you don't have to worry about saving courses you can just load back in start up the engine and then Hire the worker again and off they go. I'll literally follow the contours of the field and where they've actually been already. So that's yeah, quite interesting that that's actually working. Quite surprising as well. So we'll see how it goes on. Uh, I'll try it on some different implements and tools at some point and see how well it does. Um, so course play. Someone did he did comment on a apologies I can't remember who it was to say that they added a mini hood feature uh, which is what the the text was that you could still see on the screen which you can apparently disable so um, I didn't see that last time I did it so I just thought it was a bug and I haven't enabled it since then um, so I will look see if there's been another update because that's usually updated quite regularly uh, and then see if we can get that back into the game as well and give that a go we've probably got one more up and down and then that will be the grass all fully fertilised so we do need to tidy up the edge and uh, so that corner next to the new pit where it dips down a bit thinking we'll look at getting a silage bunker bunker silo I'll show you clamp uh, whichever you prefer to call it in there uh, I say not we don't need a huge one I will have a look I think I have got a few enabled um, pretty much all the ones that are on the mod hub uh, I've got enabled so we'll have a look at getting one of those in there now, it's not something we need to do yet um, obviously we don't have the money for it uh, but we'll just have a look and plan see which one we're going to use so we know how much money we need to get one and what we'll probably do with that is uh, before we get to a point where we're going to start uh, feeding totem extraction and buying the feed mixer wagon we'll look again that placed and filled up so we have got some total mix ration ready so we just quickly stop that there and we'll just have a quick look see what we've got so I don't really want one of the drive through ones because they're not really going to work with the slope um, I don't think they act as bunker silos but they're just for storing crops uh, so we've got these ones which are the closed so we've got the RB modding industries so the trouble this one it's quite long um, it's not too bad but 
I think that one's a little bit long and narrow. So we've got the medium, which is a little bit wider. Uh, good thing about these bunker solos as well, you've got full 360 degree rotation, so you're not fixed to that standard grid. So I think that one would work. That one's $30,000. And I think where the slope comes at the back, that's not really going to affect the uh, the grass field at all. So I think that one would work quite well. I definitely don't think we need the big one, which we can't even see because we can't afford it. Um, uh, that one I think is going to be, yeah, that's too big. And I think that one, uh, we can't afford that one either. Uh, we've got this one, which we can't afford. Uh, I think that now oh, that one could work. Now I think we'll go with the the RB Industries one. So we'll we'll look again that one. So that's thirty thousand dollars. I think that one will be perfect for that gap. Uh, fit in there nice. So we could possibly even come back a little bit more just so we've got a bit more room to reverse trailers in and out. As when we come the back edge with that fence line. I think that'll work reasonably well. As I don't think there's anything else we need to place other than that. That'll be the most useful thing to have down here. Uh, possibly somewhere just to park up the manure spreader and slurry tanker when we get those. Uh, so I do want to get that other shed built so we can store the grass equipment. Uh, we also need to get the straw bales uh, put into the shelter. So what we'll do, we'll head up to field one. Uh, we'll get the fertiliser on that. And then that'll probably do us for today. At least then we've got... Uh, all our fields have uh, got crops in growing. Uh, the ones we have could fertilise, we've got fertilised. So still need to watch out for those bears. Uh, probably not the best track to come up with narrow tyres on. Oh, it is rather bumpy. Uh, so I think if we... Where are we? Looking in the wrong place there. I probably could have cut down the side of field 6, but probably been the better way. This is quite a long way around. Uh, we go down this way. Hopefully we can get some access to our fields from this way. It's literally right in front of us. But is there actual any access? That uh, doesn't look like it. So I may have come the, uh, the wrong way around. I think definitely probably there's a gap there. Oh, there's a little track here. So there we go. Yeah, so just on the final growth stage, unfortunately, which only just literally kicked over. Uh, the only problem with this is it's going to be one of those where it's difficult to see where we've actually been. Uh, some of these trees are a little bit close. We may look at if they're within our field boundaries we own them. I don't think I actually bought a chainsaw. We must have left our chainsaw back at Ravenport. I think that tree and um, that one's not too bad but I think these trees here may look at cutting those down just because they are a little bit close to the edge of the field which could cause a few issues with workers. Now definitely this one uh, we'll look at doing and possibly that one those ones shouldn't be too bad the way the worker would go that way. Uh, but definitely that one there on that corner we'll look at cutting down at some point. As well, I've kind of got <laughs> open the boom up in an awkward position. We'll set a worker off on that and just see how well it does. Just, we'll stop that. Just raise up the, uh, the spray bar. So that is turn off the plowing state. So that's working fine. 
Um, that grass field that was opposite that I mentioned earlier, it's 116,304, but it's actually quite a big field. There's quite a lot of grass. And then we've got uh, this one, which is only 64,800. It probably isn't too bad. Now that one's huge because it covers that section as well, and that's <laughs> 242,000. Uh, there's that one for 95, which uh, this one for 91, which if we do buy that one, I'd like to extend fill 24 down that way with that one. Um, so yeah, possibly this one, because I think that's a decent sized field. It's right next to the farm. So if we are doing silage, uh, we haven't got far to take it to the actual bunker silo. So that's possibly one we'll look at uh, picking up at some point. So what we're going to do is we'll leave this episode here. I'll get the this field finished off. Uh, field 24 is probably not far off finished. Uh, so the work has stopped. So I'll get that one finished off as well. We'll get the finished off that one. And then we'll see where we are in the next episode. So I'll probably skip the night as we're coming up to court pass four now. Um, I'm currently doing about two episodes per in-game day. Uh, I feel like that's probably the best kind of approach to get us get stuff done that we need to um, without progressing too much time, uh, but also then not spending too many episodes on one single game day. So, hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, if you have, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, then please do consider subscribing. I've got new Farm Simulator 19 videos coming every day. And if you've got any suggestions, uh, comments or questions, then please do leave them in the comment section. I will try and answer them as soon as possible. So, again, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you again. Goodbye. Goodbye.